Dennis, noise is something that many experimental scientists want to get rid of. Um, when you're looking at uh, physics experiments or in cosmology, dust, you, you want to get rid of the noise. Uh, you have been a pioneer in showing that noise, stochasticity, is actually critical in biological systems, uh, starting with your work uh, in heart physiology and moving on to all, all, all the systems of biology. Let's, let's really talk about that. And you call it harnessing stochasticity. Using chance yeah. is another way to put it, yes. We have no alternative. Our cells are made of water and lipids and a few other things <laughs> and all of those molecules, but essentially water. What happens in water was shown way back in 1827 by a man called Brown. And he found that as he watched the particles under a microscope in water, they're jiggling around the whole time. All our molecules are doing that. The DNA is doing it too. The filaments will be waving in the wind. We cannot do without all of that because that's our nature. We are not like a computer with silicon chips where all the molecules are fixed. So we have to find ways of using all of that and you bet it, we do. Mm. If our immune systems want to find new DNA, they can do so easily by allowing the noise to generate new forms of DNA. Mm. It's as simple as that. And then they select the very ones out of the millions that may occur that will form a new antibody to attack a virus or a bacterium. Mm. That is the harnessing of stochasticity. Bacteria know how to do it. They do it to resist antibiotics. Mm -hmm. They have the same problem. They need new DNA, so they create mm. new DNA. And it they... can't wait for cosmic rays to no, cause mutations. It just takes too long. <laughs> Absolutely takes far too long. So what does an octopus do as it finds that the temperature is going down? They proceed, believe it or not, to change the DNA, mm. to adjust to a new uh, environment. Mm. What do birds do when they start to live at very high altitude? They start looking for ways in which the genome can be jiggled around. I think that's a good expression. Mm. Let it jiggle around because they don't actually make it jiggle around. Right. They just let it happen. And then if out they of can't that, stop it from they happening. get out of that millions of new um, sequences, but they can, as it were, choose. I think choose is the right word. They choose what it is that is possible to grab more oxygen to enable them to live at high altitude. Yeah. Happens all the time. Yeah. And, and the choosing is not some active process, but it is that which works. It's that which works. <laughs> exactly so. And that gets us to a very deep philosophical question. What is choice? <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. I, and, and choice can be described at, at various levels, but um, it, it is critical for the system to happen you need a huge number of, uh, of, of options. Exactly. And you need a system for selecting that which works. Precisely I mean, it's so, just that which means there have to be values that enable that to be evaluated right, right. Um, in order out of those many possibilities to choose what works. Right. It's what works, that's yeah. what matters. But unless you have the stochasticity to begin with, there you don't have enough material yeah. to work with. No, 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 that's absolutely right. And that's why, of course, people building AI systems mm. have to, can you believe it? They have to introduce noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you put it well that the, uh, the, the foundation of creativity is noise. Is indeed so. <laughs> Where does a Beethoven come from? How does he suddenly emerge and break all the major rules yeah, of music? Right. You, you can't predict that. Mm. And that's the extraordinary thing about organisms. They are creative. They are problem solvers all the time. Mm. And I think we've misunderstood the agency of organisms in being able to use mm. the chance that they got in their bodies. Mm. Mm. And the use of, of chance or, or stochasticity is uh, for various functions in an immune system. Yeah, it, 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 can, it works in the brain in terms of its, yep. uh, its various capacities and it works in evolution. Exactly and in, so. in your in, in integrated yes. synthesis, uh, stochasticity is a critical is part. It's a key feature. What did we find at the first sequencing of the human genome back yeah. in 2001? You can read the Nature paper. You'll find that over time, 
absolutely aeons of time, because we're talking now of hundreds of millions of years, organisms have found out how to reorganize the code for the different bits of proteins. They have assembled them mm. into greater and greater functionality for those proteins. That's what we found. And we know it happens. We don't know the full details molecularly how all of that is organized. That's open for physiologists now to investigate, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pushing my own subject, of course. <laughs>